Okay. Hi. Uh, so in this particular video, we will be looking into uh, identity access management uh, in AWS. So we have just recently created a uh, account and uh, one of my friend was looking to learn about AWS and he just created a new account uh, with, with his debit card. And uh, so we will be looking into basics of AWS in, in some of the videos. And uh, so let me introduce him first of all. Uh, so Priyanshu, can you please introduce yourself? Yeah, hi all. My name is Priyanshu and I'm currently working with Citibank as a, one of the core team members of cybersecurity. I have eight plus years of experience. I have completed my OSCP, WPTX and CISSP so far. And uh, I'm glad to meet all of you. Thanks, Rob Simran. Okay. Uh, so the most important part, or you can say most important uh, privilege, uh, privilege management a service which AWS provides is IAM. IAM stands for uh, Identity Access Management. <clears throat> so it is kind of similar to uh, user roles and uh, the privileges which we have in Unix. Like in Unix, we are having users groups and uh, pseudo permissions and file permissions. So similar thing, similar uh, structure is uh, created by AWS for the cloud services. Uh, so the full form is uh, full form of IAM is identity and access management. It is a global service. Global service means whatever resources uh, a user creates in uh, uh, IAM. So that will be applicable to all of the regions. Uh, what I'm trying to say is, uh, Priyanshu, can if you give me the control, sure. I am just Please requesting request. it. Yeah. Yes. Sure. Done. Okay, thank you. So if you see here in the top right, just adjacent to your uh, name, there are different regions in the AWS. Means in these many regions, we can deploy resources. So, <clears throat> but in case of IAM, if we search from the search bar. <clears throat> oh, internet is kind of slow, so sorry for this. Okay, so this is how your IAM dashboard will look like. Currently, we are logged in as a, a root user. Root user means the first user with which you have created the account. So that will be your default root user. And a root user always log, logs in using email address and the password. Uh, <clears throat> so within IAM, there are different uh, things which you can create. So on the on the right side in the dashboard home page you will be seeing your account id and account alias means you can also create a, a name for your account but what that means is you will be able to log in uh, using alias as well like you can create uh, your own alias like uh, let's say priyanshu has created his account so priyanshu can create a alias with the name priyanshu123 and uh, instead of entering account ID again and again, he, he can just use that alias for logging in as well. Uh, so let's see now what are the resources which we can create in IAM. Uh, so first is users. If I click on this. So users are basically norm, normal like users which we create in uh, Linux operating system. Similar to AW, uh, similarly in AWS, we, we can create multiple users. So for, for creating a new user, you just need to click here in add user and then give any name, let's say test. Now, if you want to provide console access, console access means uh, user will be able to log in uh, by using his credentials. 
to the AWS management console. Then you, you can check this. And then uh, you want to select this and then you will be creating a password for that particular user. So let's say we just create a temporary password. So the password is test at the rate one, two, three. Then if you want to, if, if you want the user to change the password when, when he tries to log in, in uh, the first time, then you can uh, check this, but we don't want to do that. So uncheck this, then we click next. And currently we don't have any group. So you can directly give permissions. like by going to attach policy. So we will be looking into these as well. So let's say I want to make this user administrator. Administrator access permission is the most permissive permission, means this is the thing like sudo user, which we have in Unix. So this particular user will be able to do, uh, will be able to perform any operation on any resource. And the effect is allow. That means this, this user can create any resource or modify anything within this account. So this is the administrator user for this particular account. Uh, so you just need to select this and then click on next. So now they will just uh, show you that this is, this will be the username which will be created. Uh, Password we, we have already set. Password reset will not be required when the user logs in first time. And the uh, permissions. So this administrator access is a AWS managed permission. We can also create our own permissions. Permissions are just J JSON files, basically. So we will look into that as well. But for now, just uh, for creating user, this is the way. Uh, so tags are basically key value pairs. These are just for uh, categorization. Categorization means, uh, let's say there are thousands of users in, in your environment and you want to search some of the users who are part of, uh, let's say, if we say department here. Okay. And department can be any, any department like say IT or sales, so let's say sales. Okay, so if we create tags like that, so the categorization is easier for the uh, users. Means you, you will be able to search users on the basis of tags itself. Means these users are, pa are part of this group, these users are part of this, so basically categorization. And easy searching. So now, uh, user is created. You can check that by going to IAM. Again, if you can see here, you can see here, user is one. So one user, we, we just created this user. Test user is created. This is not part of any group. Last activity nev uh, never means, never means it, uh, this user has not logged in yet. And password, I think this is password creation date. Yeah, password age, yes. <clears throat> Two minutes. So now let's try to log in. So for logging in, again, you need to go to AWS Management Console. Log back in.
okay so now uh, in this case we will not be using root user we will be using the user which we have just created so now here we need to enter the account id account id is the id which we just seen that is unique for each account uh this id you just need to copy this and paste here or you can use alias as well so this is the means usage of alias you just need you don't need to remember the account id if you uh, if you have created an alias for your account so that is the basic usage of alias why we create alias then we need to enter the username username is test password sign in So you can see we got, we we are logged in as test user, and this is the first time we are logging in. That's why AWS is showing us how to use console. So you can see the details of the account here as well. Okay. Uh, so that's it for this uh, small video demonstration. Uh, so in this particular video, we have seen how to create a user uh, in, in AWS. Thank you.